we've got to get spending under control so we stop putting your taxes up. We also say that we should have no stamp duty on the first uh, £250,000 that people, um, if you can buy a property for less than that, I think that would help. Um, but above all, we've also got to build more houses. I think there's no doubt uh, in my mind that we've got to change the planning system right now. It so militates against actually people building houses. And we think you need to scrap these top-down targets that make local communities so angry, but reward councils that go ahead and build homes for families like yours. Anna, this is one of the things that I yeah, wonder yeah. yeah. I probably hear about more than anything else as I travel around the country, the lack of affordable housing. I and mean, the people in your situation, but then there are, I think, 1.8 million families, that's 5 million people, who are still on the waiting list for you know, affordable housing. What do you do about it? I would do three things. Firstly, there are hundreds of thousands of empty properties in our communities, boarded up, no doubt with many in Birmingham too, which I think for a relatively modest amount of money, you could convert into homes which people could live in. It is just not right. And people can either can't afford, like you, Anna, or simply can't find places to have all these empty yeah. properties. Yeah. We have a plan yeah. set out, costing yeah. the yeah. manifesto, to convert 250,000 empty homes into homes that people can live in.